back now sports with Dan Lucy. For the last three weeks, high school football players have been working from early in the morning until late at night, getting ready for the 2019 season. And all of that work will start paying off tonight. We're starting our coverage at Pottinger Stadium at Kickapoo. That's where we find Color 10's Matt Vereen. Matt? Dan, high school football is finally back on live here, like you said, at Kickapoo High School for our week one game of the week between the Chiefs and visiting Lebanon. It's a fresh slate for teams all across the Ozarks, but you'd be hard pressed to find a school more excited for that new beginning than right here at Kickapoo. Every school has expectations, but at Kickapoo, the bar of success is built into the history books. So last year, when Cross Elmquist took over the starting quarterback role for the Chiefs, he knew he was inheriting some lofty expectations and a team that wasn't quite ready to meet them. When I kind of stepped in last year, it was everybody wasn't, we weren't really locked in. And this year, kids are stepping up into more leadership roles. It's, it's a whole team now, so it's a lot more fun because everybody's bought into it. Last year's failures are serving as motivation for this new group of Chiefs leaders, and that includes Elmquist entering his senior year. There's a reason Cross has that C stitched on his shoulder. He had the most votes of any anybody that we had on our football team. I'm, I'm pretty biased. Uh, he's one of my favorite kids I've ever coached, so he's done a tremendous job in all facets of our program being a great leader. And with a year now under his belt, Coach Thomas plans to loosen the leash on Elmquist to see what the now experienced QB can do. You know, he's put on, put on about 10 pounds of, of muscle, so uh, we feel comfortable running him a little bit every once in a while. Obviously, he's not going to go out there and be, you know, be Michael Vick by any means, but every once in a while, he's going to have the opportunity to pull one and, you know, get his first down. But stepping up in the offseason is one thing. Proving it come week one is the real challenge. And Kickapoo has the perfect opportunity facing a Lebanon side that dominated week one of last year. I think Cross is just looking forward to, you know, he, he was wide eyed and under the lights for the first time last year and that and coming in against a really, really good Lebanon team. So I think he's just he's been looking forward to this first game again. Oh, yeah, I'm ready to go, man. This is it's going to be fun game of the week, right? So like it's, it's going to be crazy. I just can't wait. Now, Elmquist won't have to wait long now. Kickoff 30 minutes. Rain is gone. The crowd is here. We'll have full highlights at 10 o'clock. But for now, reporting live from Kickapoo, Matt Vereen, Ozarks First.